Hello and welcome to the Sub1 YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video part 7 of Spot Micro we're going to hopefully finish off the mechanical build with the completion of the back cover and we will then hook up the batteries. Put the bottom cover on, put the top cover on, put the feet rubbers on and uh, we'll be ready for our first power up. Our first power, power up will be with a Raspberry Pi micro SD card that has been flashed from the image that I got from the Raspberry Insight, the Raspberry Pi org site. Uh, it's an older image uh, being Buster. I haven't tested my robot lab on the latest version yet. It should work, I just haven't done it. Alright, so I alluded to in a previous video that I'm going to use standoffs to hold this in. Now I do know that the connections on this board, on to the LCD board, do need to go to the top or our display will be upside down. I am going to use these very short standoffs. They're six millimeter long standoffs. <coughs> they are uh, two, M2.5 mil thread inside them. And I actually found that with these, these are a five mil. And so if they're threaded all the way in, it's all, almost all the way through. There's only like one millimeter in it. So when we get screws in from both sides, we need to have you know, close to 10 mil of space taken up between all of the thicknesses of the materials that they're going through. So we're actually going to use a few washers as well. Oops. Now to make sure we get them in the right spot, because I'm going to have to drill holes for this. You can actually see through that cover. Uh, we're going to drill from this side our M, M2.5 or 3 mil holes. I'll use two and a half mil drill. So we'll drill those four holes and then we can start mounting our standoffs in it. I just grab the drill. Always take care when using power or battery tools. So this is a little spring washer. I think it's actually designed for M3, but it will work for this. Might just put a another washer under it. I'm not doing those up all the way tight yet uh, mostly because I want to position the other screw heads in first before I tighten them up so this post is actually leaning over so the other screws will pull it straight and then I can tighten it up and everything will be in the right spot I'm missing one screw I'll find it shortly. This is stood back a little bit further than I expected. I might rearrange the order of my washers a bit. It's not that bad. It does provide protection. Right. Well, that was the easy part. Now 
these spade lugs are a little bit on the wide side but they will fit on so I'm going to use them working on the grounds that it's either that or I soldered them on okay so that's all my crimps done now if you remember from a previous video uh, the wire with the white the black trace in it is my ground wire so I'm going to put the ground at the bottom and the positive at the top not a lot of room here got it This is my last power connection. Now as I push these on, because I'm using a fair bit of force, I'm supporting the switch on the back side so I don't push it out. And that's on there. So the last one to hook up is the I2C. Now I should have made this one a fraction longer. Hindsight is very powerful. Now with this, remember we use the brown wire is the ground, the red wire next to it's the 5 volt. And then the orange and the yellow is the SDA and SDL respectively once that's all on you can push this on and that's going to be problematic I can't use the connectors they stick out too far let me unplug that they stick out past the cover and since this pushes in too it's going to be a problem so what I'm going to have to do is solder it well that's a pain it's going to be easier to solder it out of the body so I'll connect this back up and I'm just going to put a screw in the top here to hold it in place This is going to make this assembly, if I ever need to, a little more challenging. And just get more heat shrink. we turn the robot over and get ready to put the bottom cover on after connecting the battery up Now I did actually mark this with a bit of black to signify the front. So with our switch off, 
I'm just going to verify no shorts. And the negatives should be connected together. And they are. The positives should not be. And they're not. I turn the switch on. I get some circuit through. And nothing with the switch off, so I think I'm pretty right. Now I was going to screw that rectifier back, I haven't, it's not a major drama. But when this robot starts walking around they do need that bottom cover in place and these screws in. Okay, so that's the uh, robot dog basically assembled. I haven't put the top cover on yet. So this is the top cover and it just fits over. But I'll probably leave the top cover off for now until I've verified the robot is working. I haven't put the feet on yet. So they just clip onto the bottom of the, the feet like so. So I printed in TPE. Uh, you can print in TPU. They're both a flexible plastic. A little bit of stringy on this one. TPE and TPU can be a challenge to print. The real secret to printing with them is to print slowly. So if you run at say 50 millimeters a second normally, I'd consider 20 millimeters a second on your print rate when using TPE or TPU. Right, so those are off. So the next video, we're going to power up and install the My Robot Lab. I've already copied the image onto the SD card as far as the Buster operating system goes. I've also configured it to connect to the Wi-Fi in my house, uh, which I've not recorded for reasons of security. Uh, but there will be basic instructions on how to do that in the next video as we set it all up. I have done videos in the past setting up my robot lab on a Raspberry Pi uh, and I'll be simply following through those examples. I may even just link to the video I've already done on that job. If you want to see the power up of this and the programming don't forget to click on like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss out. 
is also a form of support that costs you absolutely nothing but does help the channel a great deal. If you'd like to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon account and you can join my VIPs Go Lucky and Lorenz Berger who get these videos as I produce them. And then there's Al Morales 45 and Ratchet who get these videos two weeks before they're released on the schedule to YouTube. There's also a Discord server where you can discuss things uh, such as this build or other robot builds like InMove. Uh, make suggestions or get questions answered. And we'll see you in the next video.